Hey everybody, this is Christine Bertram and I'm coming to you live from the Hive here in Fond du Lac, Wisconsin. And we're having another Stampin' Thursday. <laughs> we don't have a traditional card class tonight, but what we have is a celebration celebration. And I'd like to welcome everybody to the party. <laughs> so here we are. Let's see if we can find me um, live <laughs> and not somewhere else, <laughs> making sure that this is going to the right page, right? So here, let's look, look, look. You guys are always on here faster than I am. So I uh, always, there it is. Yay. Okay. Deb's there. Hi, Deb. You are the first one to the party, it looks like, <laughs> or the one that, the first one that said hi. It says we have 10 people. Oh, there is the little notification that says I'm live. Hi, Bobby. Hi, Jean. You guys are rolling in really awesome. Cool, cool. So tonight is the celebration celebration. And I've been doing this party for three years. And it's to celebrate a very successful ce celebration. Uh, and also to thank everybody that helped me make it successful. So it's my way of giving back. Hi, Jean. Hi, Luann. Hi, Christy. Christy, did your package come? You didn't tell me if you got it out of your mailbox or not. <laughs> Hi, Mary. Hi, Mar Hi Margarita. Sue's here, wonderful. Tammy, Melanie, Cindy, Marge, Aunt Marge, hi. Our, Ma, Marge, we're on a, a time limit, I know. We have an hour and a half, <laughs> so we'll make it happen. Oh, hi, Randy. Yay, hi, Latokia. Arliss is here, too. Uh, Deb, your internet is down, so you're using a hotspot. Oh, my goodness. Well, hopefully it, it survives and you don't use up all your data. <laughs> hi, Cindy. Hi, Marianne. So, you guys, while you're rolling in, hi, Ellen. Make sure to, to like and share the video. That would be awesome. So, speaking of shares, though, <laughs> you guys are probably wondering where we're at with the, the 2,000 like giveaway because I have this box behind the frame over there <laughs> and the box is still sitting there with the stamp and cut emboss machine the mini one hi carmen christy yay i'm so excited that your package came today we mailed that on february 19th and <laughs> and that's awesome <laughs> that it came today just in the nick of time hi kathy so so yes, the Stampin' Mini Cut and Emboss Machine, that giveaway is still pending. I looked at it right before I went live and we're at 1,965 likes. Hi, Angela, I just got your message that I used your email address already, so <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> so Kelly helped me out, so we're all good. <laughs> we're live, that's always the main thing. <laughs> so, um, hi, Danny. Um, hi, Barb. Barb, you finally received your envelope today. Oh my gosh, okay. So, so Christy and Barb, both of your packages shipped out on February 19th and both of them contained the ice cream kits and the kits for tonight. And you got them at least in time for tonight, which was amazing. So I, <laughs> hi Anne, hi Jane, hi Sarah. So that's awesome. Um, so the 2000 likes giveaway, keep sharing me <laughs> with your friends and family. Hi Karen. We will eventually get to 2,000 likes. Sooner or later, it's gonna happen. And when we see 2,000, we're gonna go back. Hi, Julie, hi, Brenda. Um, when we see it hits 2,000, we're gonna go back to that post that says, like and share this post and comment below when you shared it and you'll be entered into the drawing. So you still have until we hit 2,000 likes to, to enter into the drawing by commenting on that post that you shared it. Hi, Mary Carls. So um, <clears throat> while we're starting here, Mary Carls and Barb Barco and Tammy Steckling and Dee, if you're watching, or Sue Fisher or Melanie Howe, if you girls or Sherry Merton, my uh, Sherry Mertens, if you guys are watching, I did not get your lucky numbers. So if you want to participate in some of the games tonight with the lucky numbers, what I need for you to do. Hi, Deanne. Before we get started with the games, you guys have an opportunity to, if you gave them to me already, I missed them. You guys, I have this little baby post-it note that I was writing everybody's numbers down on, and somewhere along the way, I may have missed them. And I do, if you comment really quick what your five lucky numbers are between 1 and 25, 
I'll jot them up to my little sheet and then we'll include you for potentially winning prizes tonight. So again, that was Mary Carls. I know you're watching. Hi, Cheryl Thomas. Thanks for sharing, Mary. Um, so it's Mary Carls, uh, D. Serena, Sue Fisher, Tammy Steckling, uh, Cindy Bowie, if you're watching, I don't know if you are, Melanie Howe, Barb Barco. I know, Mo, you're not watching tonight. Um, and then Sherry. Uh, so if you, oh, and Brianna, if you're happen, and Ann Miller, Sue Wagner. <laughs> Sorry, so if I just said your name, um, you are eligible for winning prizes tonight, and I need your five lucky numbers. So I'm giving you some time to, to respond and put them in the comments, and I'll watch for them. So, um, Deanne, I got your letter in the mail today with your check, so thank you so much for that. I appreciate that. You, I love helping and being there for you guys. So I love seeing and hearing, um, the, like, the reading the notes. I love it so much. So speaking of notes, look at this beautiful card from Kathy King. Kathy, you're amazing. She sent me this beautiful card, and she used some of the Berry DSP on the envelope. And that's awesome. And she wrote me a little love note. I love that Kathy's writing is so pretty. And she's sending me lots of love and sunshine. And so no Kelly tonight. Oh, 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 here, hang on, you guys. I got to... Um, I got to be on this really quick. Ann Miller is 3, 7, 11, 24. No, Ann, not higher than 25. It can't be 28. So, Ann, if you're good with 25, we'll go with 25. But we can't do 28. <laughs> Hi, Victoria. Barb is here too, you guys. I tried to get the numbers from you ahead, and we didn't get quite all of them. Mary Carls, I've got you too. Hang on, you guys. We're doing some homework here. 2, 5, 10, 15, 22, and Sherry Martin is 1, 3, 6, 17, 23. I'm writing my chicken scratch. Tammy, you guys, if you sent them to me already, I'm so sorry. I missed them along the way. It's been a hectic, crazy, it's been crazy these last couple weeks. <laughs> so, um, okay. So I think I'm only missing a few people. Um, and then, Anne, when you get back to me, yep, Latokia, I have yours already. So, Yep, definitely. So if I didn't mention your name, um, that means I have them. I got them along the way. But um, Anne, oh, 22. Perfect. Anne, we got 22. Okay. So you guys should have your lucky numbers handy. And um, when we start playing the games, I will do a roll call. And for those people that are on the roll call, you're eligible to play lucky hand, not lucky hand, lucky numbers, which is... Uh, uh, my form of bingo when we are online to make it easy. <laughs> so, um, so if you guys are not on the roll call and you want to play along, you can definitely play along, pick your own five lucky numbers and just play along, but please don't comment, um, the letters. And when we talk about the rules for the game, then just like participate on your own. <laughs> so we'll, we'll try to make it happen. So if I have yet Sue Fisher or Melanie or Brianna or Sue Wagner, I think those are the only gals I'm missing. So, okay. So we're going to get the party started here really quickly. Hi, Jill. Um, so, but I wanted to share with you, look at, oh, you guys, I thought that, <laughs> I thought that I had switched the camera. So here you saw me doing all that jibber jabber down there. Okay. So we got Kelly's card here, <laughs> you guys. Oh, sometimes I don't know if I'm coming or going. So, oh, and now I have to bring this down. So Kelly's card here. Um, did you guys love this card? I think she made this purple just for me. She really loves the kangaroo and uh, the company set. And she tried to make a card here. Well, she didn't try. She did make a card featuring the window pane technique. I think she did a fabulous job. And I know it's really hard to see it here, but she did emboss this with the subtle embossing folder. And um, she added some of these, the peony from the peony suite. You guys, I had a hard time with that a couple weeks ago. It's the peony suite. She added some of those wonderful gems. So isn't that pretty? She did such a wonderful job with this card. Love it, love it. So if you guys haven't been catching her technique Thursdays, she, you guys can always, hi Brenda. Um, you can always catch her technique Thursdays in, hi Kathy Ballard, in the video section of the Cards by Christine Facebook page. And uh, this week for Tuesday, I did something not normal for a tip Tuesday, but Kelly said, you need to do this because, because of all the people that are always inquiring about where to find stuff. And I don't ever want to make it difficult for anybody to find anything. <laughs> so, uh, so, oh no, Christy says a frozen screen. I don't see a frozen screen yet. So we're going to like keep going. So I wanted to do that Facebook video to show you 
where there's different things that you can find and how easy it is to search. Like if you're looking for how to refresh your Stella pen, it's type Stella. So if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, go to the video section for Tip Tuesday uh, for two days ago and watch that video. So, oh yeah. So, oh, Tammy likes that card. So real quick, what we're gonna do is flip through some of my cards that I have coming up, the card cl the classes. You guys, I have Latoki. I just got these out in the mail for you. Hi, Kay. So this is the March monthly class. Well, Tokyo, you just signed up for this. I got them. I got them to the post office tonight <laughs> before we started here. Uh, so if you guys, anybody wants to place an order, they're looking to get anything, you could get this monthly March card class, the kits for this. We're going to be doing this next week, guys. March 18th is the strawberry, the lamb, and then the shark frenzy. So this is, I have plenty of sets available if anybody wants to sign up for that yet. And then the week after, you're welcome, Latokia. The week after is Paper Pumpkin. And then the week after that is already April 1st, guys. Oh my gosh, how does that happen? And this is what I've got lined up for April 1st. And I have about 20 more spots for this one. I have maybe 44 signed up and I'm making 60. So if you're on the fence about this one, uh, let me know. <laughs> get, get on my RSVP list. Just know that the one thing that I'm not providing for the to-go kits is the Gilded Leafing. You're gonna to have to do something else on this card to get that gold accent. It's way too hard to mail any of that gold leafing. So that's available too with a minimum order. You could sign up for that one. Game night is ready, guys. I have 20 people sign up for game night already. So I have some more openings for game night. And these are the four cards we'll be making for game night on April 8th, I think. That's right, April 8th, yep. And so all of this information you can find uh, on my website, the cardsbycrispy.com. I have an events calendar there. And then April 9th, I think, yep, the day after that one, this is the Butterfly Brilliance, the ink paper stamps class that I have coming up April 9th. So lots of lots of card classes coming up, you guys. Um, there's so, I, <laughs> I was ahead of the game. I got a lot of designing done over the last two weeks and I'm, actually set through sometime in April with card classes. So that's so exciting for me. <laughs> so hi, April Drain. Yay. Hey, Gail. So, so game night, if you guys are wondering how game night works, if you haven't done it with me yet, how we're doing lucky numbers tonight is very similar to what we play for game night. So everybody, hi, Denise, everybody picks their, their five lucky numbers. And then I call numbers and whoever gets their five numbers picked first is the winner. So, um, yes, um, Ellen, that jar of gold leafing, it should be off of back order. So I know that it was on back order for a little bit, but I have heard that it's off. So you should, you guys, for those that aren't local and you want to order it, you should be able to order it on one of your next orders. And there's still plenty of time for it to arrive by April 1st. So that's good. Okay. So that's card class. So what else do I have here? Uh, oh, craft roulette, you guys. <laughs> There's going to be a lot of activity over the next few days for me being live with you guys. So tonight is this class or the party. Tomorrow night is craft roulette with Mary Gunn. And she loves to have a ton of fun. F-U-N-N. -N. And oh, good, Ellen. I'm glad you have it. Wonderful. So Craft Roulette, for those that don't know what it is, it's a game show <laughs> that's done via a Facebook Live. And every Friday, it starts at 6.20. The, the event starts at 6.20 and the show starts at 6.30. And I am the guest crafter tomorrow night. And it's their one year anniversary. <laughs> and how it works is there's a roulette wheel and it's got different elements to it and four things are chosen and I have to design a card, make a card live on the fly, okay? <laughs> and it's the first time I'm gonna be doing craft roulette here from my house <laughs> or from my hive. Hi, Melanie boy. Um, you, uh, Melanie, no, the, it was Melanie Howe that qualified for the game night tonight and Melanie Chandler, so. It wasn't Melanie Boy, sorry, Melanie. Um, so Craft Roulette is awesome. Now, she's got about $150 worth of prizes to give away tomorrow night. And the only way that you can be eligible to win prizes tomorrow night is if you watched last week's Craft Roulette and participated by 
designing a card with the elements from last week's spin of the wheel. And so they had 98 cards that were submitted. <laughs> I think of oh, almost 100. I don't know. It was a lot. And what they do is they draw winners based off of who submitted cards based off of last week's challenges. So Deb said that last week's parameters were really tough. Well, I hope that it got it out of its system. And then for me, for tomorrow night, it's a little bit smoother because guys, <laughs> this make, this craft roulette makes me a little nervous. <laughs> Hi, Jean Benson. Hi, Anna Rabidou. So that's how you can participate and win prizes tomorrow night is by watching last week. So there is a Facebook page for Mary Guns Craft Mary Guns Craft Roulette, and I shared it on all of my stuff. I shared it in the game night. I shared it on this page. I shared it in the VIP group and I shared it in the Be Happy Stampers, I think. So, so yes, <laughs> Linda can't wait to see me tomorrow night. So, oh, yeah, I wasn't, I'm not going to be nervous until right before. And then my heart starts pounding a little bit and then I get into it and I'll be fine. <laughs> so, and then I'll have a good beer afterwards. <laughs> so, yeah, so that's tomorrow night. And then for my team, on Saturday, what was it? Flap, dog, spring colors, and book? Jean, that's what the th that's what the parameters were last week? Whoa, that makes my heart nervous a little bit. <laughs> and said I did good on the last one. The last one was really easy for me. So, um, yeah. So Sherry says, let's see here, uh, numbers from... Oh, so for those people that want to play along for game night tonight, but aren't part of the people that can win prizes, but you want to, it's, I'm going to be drawing numbers one through 25 and you can play at home with yourself and see if you would have won or not. So <laughs> hi, Carrie Peterson. Uh, oh, is that true, Luann? You only had 48 hours to submit your cards. Oh, I honestly can't remember what the rule was. I would have to go back and check the website or check her Facebook page um, to see what the parameters were. And maybe Deb or Jean Maxwell know what the, if you had 48 hours. I honestly, I thought, I don't know. They probably have it all shut down by now because they have to prepare the program and run through the cards. So thanks for all your guys' support and encouragement. I think it'll be good tomorrow. So speaking of that though, I promised them a certain number of people would be watching and I need your help. So the highest they've ever had for people watching them live is 126. Jean said that you had to submit by Sunday, guys. So it's a little late. So um, so I promised them 150 people tomorrow night watching. And so I need all of you, if you can, to log on to the event and watch it live. It starts at 6.30 or 6.20 Central. Um, there's a little bit of jibber jabber for 10 minutes, welcoming people and saying hi as people log in. But if you can watch tomorrow night live, that would be outstanding. I, I like to keep my promises, but I need your help to keep my promise. <laughs> so, oh, the, oh, yes, Jean Benson, you are so correct. Mary Gunn told me that I had a little call with them last night. And she said that before they do the spin of the wheel, I can veto something if I want to. So, yes. Uh, <laughs> you had the record the last time you were on. You had the record last time you were on. Oh, I did. I did definitely. The The last time I was on, I had 103 people, which was the most. And that's why they invited me back to be the guest crafter for tomorrow night. So that's kind of exciting. So Ellen, Rover, the link... Um, I will, what I'm going to do after we're done tonight, I'm going to reshare the link to all four of the different pages and groups that I manage and you guys should see it there. So, and then mark your calendars. Oh, Vito Orange. Melanie, I think I can handle orange now. I made it last time on the orange. I think like some of these other ones, if I, oh yeah, <laughs> I'll have to look. I haven't looked at the parameters lately, so I'll have to look at the parameters and see if there's something that's, nope. <laughs> so, all right. Um, so just a quick note too, if you guys are ever looking for my schedule, go to cardsbychrisb.com. It's in the newsletters section. Um, <laughs> I have a fan club. You're right, Danny. <laughs> you guys are all my fans. I love it. So go to my newsletter section and you guys can always find the most updated, uh, class schedule that I have. That's crazy, insane, out of this world, a lot of stuff. <laughs> so, all right. So as the camera is down here, so those people, let's do a roll call really quick. So 
I know you guys can't read this, but for tonight's celebration, celebration, Danny Olson, Bobby McPherson, Kay Warren, Brenda Loveless, Mary Carls, Christy Warren, Stacey Burns, and Anne Bellinger, Kathy King, Deb Norman, Ellen Brover, Sue Fisher, Angela Knutson, Sherry Martin, Mo Stites, Barb Barco, Lori Kaiser, Marge Haas, Melanie Howe, Dee Serena, Ann Miller, Latokia Trigg, Brianna Lafnan, Jean Maxwell, Cindy Bowie, Luann Johnson, Sue Wagner, Tammy Steckling, and last but certainly not least, Melanie Chandler. All of you girls are qualified for the celebration celebration tonight. You should have all received a make and take packet in your mail. And we're going to be making that insert here in a little bit. And all of you would be qualified to win prizes tonight. If I didn't list off your name and you're watching me and you want to play along, you're more than welcome to. Pick your five numbers between 1 and 25. And just all I ask is you do not comment the, the letters S-T-A-M or P. The only people that because I don't, <laughs> this is going to be really confusing because I don't have Kelly here helping me tonight. Kelly normally helps me for game night. So I don't have Kelly, I don't have her eagle eyes <laughs> helping me. So I'm going to have to watch your comments plus call the numbers. And I only, I would, I would really appreciate if only those people who I just read off your names are typing in the letters to play along. Again, if you want to play along and I didn't list off your name, you're welcome to just don't comment and <laughs> don't say stamp. <laughs> so, oh, she has purple craft roulette shirts for sale. Oh my gosh. You guys know I love the purple. <laughs> so I'll have to take a look at them. Okay. So everybody that I listed off your name, you got this cute little treat box that I made for you. And when you open it up, did you love the strawberries in there? So these are Ma Madeline, Madeline chocolates. They are so good. And all I did was I punched some of the strawberry builder punch and put some hulls on the top. I think they're hulls, yes. And so you got this. And this time I left them con um, as a box. And so you didn't have to put them together like for the celebration, the catalog launch party. So that was a little gift. I um, made good things grow all year long. I love that sentiment. You guys also got some of my lovely suckers. They're strawberries and cream. I love the cream part of these. So I, uh, <laughs> hi, Pat Butts. So I love these. I don't know if you guys are into suckers or not, but if you don't like them, give them to somebody who needs a little sugar <laughs> in their life. <laughs> but so these, I was trying to fit these in the box and they would not fit in there. So they were loose in all of your packages. So I got the lollipops on Amazon, guys. So Stacy, if you help me remember, I will um, post the, I, just send me a text or an email or a Facebook message and I'll send you the link for these. Um, they're strawberries and cream. I got them, I think they were on Amazon and whatever seller through Amazon is where I got them. So yeah, so those are some extra little goodies that those that got the make and takes and qualified got from me. Uh, so how the lucky numbers works. I have here 25 little numbers and these are all, I cut these out of the back of the catalog. They're all like different stamp sets. And I numbered these numbers one through 25. Melanie, you're watching. Melanie, can I get, I need, I don't have your lucky numbers, Melanie. Um, if you, Melanie, before we get playing here, if you, hi Sue from Australia, yay. Melanie, if you wanna give me your five lucky numbers between one and 25, I'll add them onto my, my list here next to your name so that if you win tonight, what I have here for prizes, guys, I've got some stamp sets. I had so many classes that I did with the berry that I used a lot of the paper. And so also Melanie Chandler sent me some berry blessings stamp sets. She's like, hey, I got some extra berry blessings. You wanna use these as prizes? I'm like, yeah. And then I've got punch party as well. So we've got some stamp sets to, to send to people for prizes for tonight. Uh, if you have the berry blessings, or if you have the punch party, I have maybe one or two of the other stamp sets and we can, you can always talk to me and we'll figure something out. But so for all those people that I listed off, um, we're going to get going here and here are the, here's how it works. Okay. So when you get one number, so let's say your numbers that you picked for, I'm just hypothetically are one, two, three, four, five, and I pick 10 or 11 or 12. Those aren't your numbers but then I pick five. That means I have one of your numbers that I just picked. I need for you guys to do this as you get your numbers picked to, to spell out the word stamp. So if I call five and you have five, type S. 
And then if I call a second number of yours, so let's say I picked number two, then you have ST. And then if I picked your number four, and now you have STA. So as I call your numbers, help me know that you're getting close to spelling stamp. And then whoever has STAMP first, what we'll do is we'll cross check on my little cheat sheet here, what your numbers were. And then if those five numbers were called were yours, then we're good to go and you win a prize. So hi, Linda Hodge. Okay, so that's how the lucky numbers works. So you have to be paying a little bit of attention. And what happens is as you get close to STAM, I'll start to go slower because I am about 10 seconds ahead of you. So I gotta be on my A game watching the comments <laughs> and calling numbers. And if we have two people that win at the same time, both of you will win. There's not like a first place prize and then a runner up prize. We'll just, two, both of you will win. Cause I've got five prizes and then I can always have more prizes. <laughs> That's how we do this. So, all right, so let's get this party started. We are going to, let's flip these upside down actually. Oh, and then there's a whole bunch of stuff on the back. All right, so first number for lucky hands. Once we are all, once we are out or do we keep playing for more prizes? I have five prizes, Luann. So, we're gonna play maybe a first and second place winner on this first game. Hi, Francie Freeberg. And then we're gonna make the insert. And then we're gonna play another game of lucky numbers, have two winners, and then I think I'm gonna do a number, a random number generator. So we're gonna give away five or six prizes tonight. So so we'll keep playing here. All right, for the first number. All right, da -da -da. number 10, happy thought stamp set. If you guys are looking for a versatile stamp set with lots of pretty sentiments, this is one of my favorite ones. Just wanted to send some happy thoughts your way. You guys know that I love sending happy thoughts your way. All right, the next number is 25. So again, if you have number 10, start writing S. If you have number 25, you if you have both of these numbers, you would write ST. So again, as I start to call your numbers, you're going to start spelling out the word stamp. Very lame, but I'm missing one number. So, Ellen, what do you mean by you're missing one number? <laughs> All right, number five. Number five. Ellen, I have I have you down. Yep, you don't have any numbers yet. <laughs> All right, number five is the next number. So, if you have any of these numbers, Mary Carls has S. Wonderful, wonderful. All right, Angela, you have an S, too. That's good. Very good. All right, number 13 is the next one. Hi, Kay Warren. I'm glad you're here. We just started, actually. First game of lucky numbers. So the Hydrangea Haven stamp set, one of my favorites. Oh, my gosh. Do you guys want to see a sneak peek at the cards? I might just do this because I have them ready. So this is the Hydrangea Haven, April 22nd. I might have shown these to you, but maybe I didn't. But you guys, I love the Hydrangea Haven set. So this is the class that we're doing live April 22nd. There's a sneak peek, a really, really short little sneak peek. All right, Tammy, Luann, and Deb have S. Mary Carls is rocking it with an ST. So, oh, Ellen, you have, Ellen, your numbers are 1, 3, 4, 12, and 16. You're missing number 12, Ellen. So 1, 3, 4, 12, and 16 are your numbers, Ellen. All right, Friendly Flamingo. Number four is number Friendly Flamingo. So Sherry, you should go to cardsbychrispy.com. I have a game night coming up on April 8th where we're gonna be doing the same game. It's we'll make four cards and play lucky numbers. Quite curvy stamp set number 18. And so if you have any of these numbers here, four, five, 10, 13, 18, 25. Oh, you guys, the hydrangea set was, <laughs> Tammy said they're beautiful. Oh my gosh. One of them's a fun fold and they're just, oh, they're so fun to make. The blues and the purples. Hi, Lisa. Number 21 is the Woodland Wonder stamp set. Uh, you guys, I have a, a class coming up next month and hang on. The Woodland Wonder I think it's part of my monthly card class, I think in April. So this is one of the cards. Let's see, how's this go here? This goes around and ties it shut. You know, it's got a little pretty bow there, but look at, isn't that cool? So that's the Woodland Wonder stamp set. So, <laughs> um, and then it's got like an inside in it. So 
That is what Woodland Wonder is about. We're going to be using that stamp set next month. Okay, Kathy King, Jean, Barb have S's. K has an S-T. Next number is, hi. All right, Anne's got an S. Number 12, Wrapped Bouquet. That one is also being featured in the April monthly class. Number 12, Wrapped Bouquet. All right, number 22, Simply Succulents. Uh, we did that one just last month. We used that for the monthly class. All right, Brenda's got an S. So we've got a bunch of numbers going on here, guys. Nobody's getting the S-T-A-M, though. So let's see what we can do next here. Huh? Stacy Burns has an S. Ellen has S-T. Oh, we've got a bunch of S-T's. Okay, you guys. Here it is. The Birthday Chick stamp set, number 23. Number 23. Hey, Birthday Chick. The game night that we're doing in June is going to feature those two chicken sets. <laughs> All right. Number 17, you are amazing. Number 17, oh, Christy's got ST. Wonderful, wonderful. Anne's got ST. All right, I'm gonna move these guys up here to make a little room down here. All right, nobody's got S. Oh, Mary Carl's is on fire. STA. All right, next number is 20, Garden Wishes. Number 20. Thanks for sharing, Arliss. All right, Stacy's got ST. All right, let's see what the next number is. We've got here my one of my favorite sets is called Sweet Strawberry, number eight. Okay, STA. So number eight is Sweet Strawberry. Oh, you guys, you wanna see a sneaky peek? <laughs> I got sneaky peeks for you. So you know I started a new class, a new card class called Ink Paper Stamps. The butterflies, or what we're featuring, or I should say I'm featuring for the April class, but for the May class, it's the sweet strawberry set. I love it. I had to just make that strawberry as a 3D strawberry. So this is going to be for the May ink, paper, scissors stamp class. <laughs> so Angela's got ST. Marge, ST. Angela's STA. Sherry's got ST. Okay, guys, number 11. Number 11 dragonfly garden stamp set you guys know that one we're using that for game night next month all right number 11 dragonfly garden featuring uh the featured set for game night on april 8th <laughs> in bloom stamp set is number 24 number 24 is the next number for, for our game tonight. Oh, Latokia, you've got a number. Good job. S, I love it. Barb's got ST. Bobby's got a number. March has STA. Okay, so you guys are doing, oh, Christy's got STA. So we're getting close. Next one is number three. Friends are like seashells. So I haven't used this in a class yet, but I will be using that stamp set and the dies coming up. Oh, I lied. I used that for fun folds, but I'm going to be using it again, I think in May or June. Not quite sure which one. You guys, a lot of you have STA. Let's see what this one is. Pretty Perennials is number 16. Number 16. Hi, Katie Schmidt. Okay, Latokia is on track now. STA. Barb is too. Okay, number 16. Let's sneak this one in here. Anne's got S-T-A-M. Oh my gosh, you guys. It's getting close. It's getting close. Anne, Christy, and Kay. All with the S-T-A-M. Who has number two? My favorite number. Sweet ice cream. Stamp set number two. Stacy's got S-T-A-M. Oh my gosh, you guys. A bunch of you have S-T-A-M. But does somebody have number two? Let's see here. Number two is sweet ice cream. I'm waiting to see if I'm waiting because I know you guys are right back on this last one, Pretty Perennials, yet. <laughs> so look at me and my fingers. <laughs> I'm watching myself. You guys, I'm watching along with you right here so I can watch your comments come through. <laughs> so and I think somebody just asked if it was freezing, and I don't see it freezing on my end. So number two, does anybody have it with number two? I'm not sure. Let's see here. See how the fastest fingers of the South are. I don't know here. Tammy's got S-T-A-M. Okay, we're going to do the next number. 
Uh, Danny's got number two. Yes, you picked my favorite number. I saw that. Okay, here's the next one then. Number 14, Forever and Always stamp set. That was that pretty one we used for the January bundle class. Uh, it was the, the black and white cards. We did that one a lot. Okay, so that was number 14. Are we getting close, guys? We're, I mean, I know we're getting close, but do we have a winner yet? So that was number 14. Next number then, I'm gonna try to, you guys, we don't have a lot of, oh, Angela's got it. There you go, Angela. Okay, so you guys hang tight because I'm gonna, oh, Tammy's got it too. I'm gonna check Angela and Tammy's numbers really quick here. My chicken scratch, Tammy has three, five, 14, 20, and 24. Tammy, that's a good one. All right, let's check Angela's. Angela's back over here. Angela's got the two and the eight, 12, 14, and 25. So we have good winners, woohoo! So Angela, you were first. And I think you already have the Punch Party stamp set. So if you want to confirm that you're okay with Berry Blessings, I will set this aside for you if you're good with that. And then, unless you want another Punch Party, but I, I think you're, you're probably good with only one. And then that leaves Tammy. Tammy, if you want to let me know which you would prefer, um, either Punch Party or Berry Blessings. I have a feeling you might have Berry Blessings, but maybe you don't have Punch Party. Let me know and I will set that aside for you. So we have two winners on that game. And I think what we're gonna do now, guys, is we're gonna do the make and take. And then we're gonna play some more. We're gonna play lucky numbers again. So don't lose your lucky numbers, keep them handy. Um, and I'll set my numbers off to the side, but what I wanna do is get the make the insert with you. So I had a lot of fun designing this insert and I want to show you where I got my inspiration for it from. So hang for a second and I'll grab this and I'll grab everything. I'm gonna go through what it all entails. <laughs> I'll grab this and set this. Let's set this right here. So. A flip down. Berry Blessings, cool, Tammy. Yep, let me get a piece of paper so I don't forget. And Angela, oh, Berry, okay. Oh, so both Tammy and Angela want Berry Blessings. I can handle that. So let's do that. So you guys, I gotta do this. I don't have Kelly here helping me. So we have Tammy with Berry Blessings. Okay, perfect. So we got two of them. All right, so let's flip this down and show you what we're making. This is the, for in, so what you guys all got is a little kit. Your little kit is packaged in some Stampin' Up! cellophane, and I hope and I cross my fingers that your package arrived in good condition. I really had to finagle, hi Brenda Little, I really had to finagle cardboard <laughs> because so a lot of you might have like cut up pieces of cardboard taped together and I did that so that your paper wouldn't get bent. Okay, so you have a little make and take packet like this and you have everything you need in your little packet to make this insert. And where I got the inspiration for this, you guys, I love, the Stampin' Up! books are awesome. So do you see this right here, this card? When I saw this card, I thought, oh, That'll be really pretty to make into a sampler like this. And you can see that I just used the different DSP, but that yellow banner, or the, I call it a table. <laughs> the white piece is sitting on the table, but the bow is the same pretty much. The daisies, I added some butterflies, added a little black. So this is where I got my inspiration from. So you know, when you're looking through these catalogs, they're a great resource to get ideas for making cards or making other projects. So, for example, that would have been a really pretty layout, too, for the insert as well. So, so that's where I got it from was the Celebration Catalog. And so how are we going to do this? So, so take a good look at it, guys. <laughs> All of you who are part of the Celebration tonight, you also got a PDF tutorial. I emailed it out, I think, on Sunday night. And so you should have a picture as well. But this is kind of big here to have right in front of 
everything while we're working. So I'm just gonna set it off to the side. If anybody needs to see it, <laughs> let me know. Um, yeah, I had to tape all that card. I had to, you guys, I had to cut that thick cardboard and make a template and it was just a rigmarole. So after, <laughs> after this experience of mailing this paper, I went and I bought cardboard, like chipboard for the future. <laughs> so the next time I do a sampler like this that needs to get mailed out, it's going to be a lot easier and prettier. <laughs> so when you open your packages. So what you guys have in your, your make and take bag. And this is somebody's, because I had this last night. I had six people here that we did this last night. And I have three people for Saturday. But you guys have to be very careful opening up your packet. You have in your packet, you should have five of the black matte dots. You should have three diamonds. And I know that's really hard to see, but you should have three diamonds. You'll have two butterflies. This is two and three quarters by four. It's a piece of white. And you have your bowsy already made, a triple bow. You'll have this piece. And I'm gonna show you how I made that. I'm gonna show you over on my other one here. You have a piece of vellum that is four by four. And then another little gift for you was a quarter pack of the Flower and Field DSP, which is my favorite. I absolutely love this. And your short, so this piece right here is not the same size as the rest because I already cut off your yellow piece. So this is basically from that piece right there. And I banner punched it. Now, this is, oh, you also have a piece of black that's six by six that will go on your eight and a half by eight and a half. So, okay. So Sandy just asked how she missed this. So this event for celebration, celebration was an earned event and there was three ways that you could earn this event. And one way was by placing orders through me. So it was $150 of products purchased through me from January 4th to February 28th. So all throughout celebration, if you bought $150 worth of product through me, that was one way to be invited. A second way is if you signed up to be on my team, and you place your first order by the end of celebration, this was a thank you gift for you for signing up on my team, picking me and placing your first order. So I had, I think a whole bunch of people, actually probably six or seven people earned spots for this event because they signed up on my team and placed their first order. And then the third way to earn a spot was if you're on my team already and you had two people sign up to be on your team, you got an invitation as well. So I tried to appeal to customers, new team members, and then existing team members. And so Sandy, that is one thing, how you would miss out. Because if people pay for my classes through the fee, it didn't count. And that's something I could probably look at doing for next time. If you potentially took every class and paid the fee for it, or I have to think about that because there are there's not many people, <laughs> you have every class, so I should reward you in a way for, for this event as well. So I, I didn't have it set up that way though. So that's why you missed it and I feel bad, <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> so bubble back, back to our insert. So you guys have all of this paper and I just love this paper all so much. I think that I love this blue one. I love that jade one. This one is so cool. That red one's so cool and what you can do is, so last night, the some of the gals were even picking different paper. I think that Jill did this one. So if you put this one on here and then put your yellow, that is super pretty. So I wanted you guys to have options for putting your sampler together. So that would look really pretty too. So when you guys are, oh, I love this one so much as well. That would be super pretty. So this is gonna be, I'll tell you honestly, last night, this was the hardest thing for people was to pick out uh, which color paper to use. And your daisies that you're gonna cut out come from this piece. So what you need, and I'm showing this to you because this is the hardest decision is picking out what paper. So, but I'm gonna do this herringbone pattern or whatever that pattern is, the jiggy jaggy, di the diagonal. So but I'm gonna stick this all back in here because somebody's gonna get this one on Saturday that's coming here to be in person. So let's put that off to the side. So what you guys need to do is, this is actually kind of simple. <laughs> so 
blocked that year. So you've got your vellum four by four. You've got two butterflies. We do a little prep work with the butterflies. So that, now this one, this was one and an eighth inch toe, got a hair there, one and an eighth inch. And I think this is called the Label Me Fancy Punch. So it looks like this. Hey, you guys, I, I always show you my face when I have a punch. <laughs> so this is the Label Me Fancy, I think. I, you guys will tell me if I'm wrong. And it's so hard to push the uh, paper in it to cut the ends off. So this is my trick, and some of you may have seen this in the past, but I start under at the bottom, and then I weave the paper to the left, I bring it back, and then I see where I have my gap, and then I push it right back. So I'm trimming off um, the end here. Oh, that makes sense, Sandy. <laughs> Okay, then I won't feel bad. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so then what I did is I flipped this side down and then I brought it back till I can see and then I'm only trimming off a little bit. So I basically cut off your, I have your six inches. I cut off one and an eighth and that gives you your, I'm calling this the table guys because your label is going to sit on your table. And I don't know if I'm going to do that pattern. Oh, maybe I will. Oh, we'll go with it. So this might be a gift for somebody. <laughs> so um, so yeah, you guys are mentioning about the screen freezing. My screen has not frozen yet. Um, knock on the countertop. <laughs> and let's hope that it doesn't. So if you're having problems with it freezing, it might be on your end. So not saying it is for sure, but <laughs> sometimes. So that's how I cut the ends. That is also a perfect example for when you want to shorten your, so this is the classic label punch. You would slide it down like this and then weave it up, but you have to have it skinny enough for that. So label me fancy punch, I think. And then you have this piece of two and three quarter by four. So on the frame, I wanted to keep it simple. Now, the only stamping you guys have to do at home is the sentiment. So whatever you want for your sentiment, pick something. Uh, if you're going to give this as a gift, you can, you know, keep that person in mind. Um, if you're keeping it for yourself, make it something fun and inspirational, maybe. So I definitely set this up on the Stamparatus. And speaking of the Stamparatus, I really haven't shown you guys this. And I'm going to take a two second blurb and tell you this. Because on April 5th, I'm doing a class featuring the Stamparatus here. And we're going to make three cards featuring the Kangaroo and Company class, car, uh, stamp set. And if you, I, I only have three people signed up for the online version of this. So there's a lot of people that can sign up yet for this. <laughs> and I'm going to show you some tips and tricks that night. Oh, thanks for confirming that, Jean. I'm going to show you guys some tricks uh, and tips for how to use the Stamparatus. But for this one, um, I set up ridiculously awesome, make today ridiculously awesome. I set up that stamp on the Stamparatus. And I did that because I really wanted my stamped image to be crisp and like just precise. And let's just, hang on, let me get this clean real quick. I see a little bit of ink residue on there. So let's just wipe that a little bit. You guys, I stuffed them back in there because they still can be used again. <laughs> okay, so I have it set up so that this white piece of paper, the basic white, is nestled right in that corner. The magnets are gonna hold the paper down. And the reason I'm setting this up is because if I stamp this one time, it's not, oh Barb, you haven't used yours yet. <laughs> you know, hopefully after you see this, you're gonna wanna use it more. So if I stamp this one time on this, it doesn't give a nice, crisp, great image. It's okay. But you'll see what I mean. I'm going to try to get this way up in the camera. So one thing I like to do is I like to have something underneath here. And usually that is not the right height. A stamp pad is perfect. So I usually put a stamp pad there because that makes this flat. Inking it with the plate at an angle is sometimes hard to do. And what I do, my memento pad is a fabric. All of the mementos are fabric. And I like to... I don't know, they don't, <clears throat> mine is not as inky as it, it likes to be, <laughs> or it should be. So I really put a lot of ink on there. And so <clears throat> we're doing Diane Bogenhagen's trick of letting it marinate. Now, if you don't have a Stamparatus, you're just gonna stamp your image on your white piece of paper however you want. But 
I'm letting the ink soak into the paper. <clears throat> the magnets are holding the paper down. So if you wanna do another coat of ink to make it darker, you can. So this comes right up and I'm gonna put a close up of this. So you can see, let's see here. So it looks a little like you can see the A needs a little help down there. It's not bad, but watch this. So you kind of took note to what that looked like. We're gonna do round two of black ink and this will just crispen it up. Main goal on this is that you don't want your paper to move. If you end up with your paper moving, you're gonna end up with a halo-y, shadowy look to it. Um, the kangaroo class, Melanie, is April 5th. It was added later in life <laughs> after, it's um, right here, extras in April, Stamparatus 101 class, May 5th, three cards. So it's those three cards. If you go over to my website, to the newsletter section, you'll find an updated schedule. You could have one that was from back at the beginning. This class got added sometime in January. Okay, so you saw that I got a round two of ink on here. And I don't know if you can see, where is it? Right there. Can you see the difference? Can you see how dark black that is now? Where before it almost looked gray, like a light gray. It filled in all the little, little dots that were there that you just, you probably couldn't see from the camera, but that just crispened it up. And with this being a frame, I wanted to make sure that that stamped image was really good. The other thing that I, you have to be careful with, and this is why the chamois work so good. You want to use your chamois to clean off the stamp. Um, I try not to clean off my stamps with baby wipes. The drier your baby wipes get, the more that they'll leave a white filaments, like the little fibers all over the place. The chamois won't leave little fibers all over the place. So um, it is, it just makes it really crisp. Uh, chamois comes in handy for when you wanna clean this. So now here's the thing, like if you guys do swap cards or if you make, let's say even 10 cards, like 10 birthday cards that are all the same, you can set up your stamp apparatus, set this up and you will consistently stamp the sentiment or whatever it is, perfect. I would have, to, I don't say perfect every time. You're, there's always a chance it might not be, but your odds of it being more um, consistent all the time are good. Uh, the other thing too that sometimes my black memento does, um, if you clean your stamp with those white wipes or the wipes, they leave the little white filaments. Sometimes they get in your ink pad. And then when you go to stamp, that little fiber transfers to your piece of paper and it smears it. So, <laughs> so that's why I really love using the chamois there. So you move your magnets and now you end up with something that looks ridiculously awesome, <laughs> right? Okay, so that is something awesome that you can use the Stamparatus for is consistent stamping. So the Stamparatus 101 class, we're gonna feature, I'm gonna show you how to do um, the hinge step where you use the same stamp and you go down uh, the hinges, like this is a hinge. So these plates come off and you just go up and down. And then I'm gonna show you how to do the wreath part, like that. that's one stamp and it makes a wreath. And then how you can cut out white pieces and then consistently die cut them, ah, consistently stamp them. So that's a little bit about the Stamparatus, a little bit that you probably weren't expecting tonight. Okay, <clears throat> so now that you have your stamping done, <laughs> oh, we got a little bit extra here. These butterflies. So when I originally made this, I put a pink butterfly up there and it did not stand out good. It really blended in. So I didn't want to throw it away. So I put it underneath the yellow one. So from at an angle, you see a shadow of a pink butterfly back there. That's why I gave, <laughs> I gave you two. Now, if you really don't want to use one of them, you will not hurt my feelings whatsoever. <laughs> use whichever one or both. But what I did, so this is from this butterfly, in case you're wondering, it's from a stamp set called, or a die set, it's called Floating and Fluttering. And you guys probably think you don't need another butterfly set, or you like, you need another butterfly set, like you need a hole in the head. 
<laughs> that's what I think. I don't need more butterfly stuff, but I get it all anyways. So 61, go to page 61 and this, <laughs> oh, so many butterflies. So that die is this one right here. And what it does is, is it die cuts, but then it, let's see where's the camera. Oh, you can see there, my hand is blocking the light. It has the ingrained vein, like the veins or the wings of the butterfly. Okay, so that one, but a little sneaky peek, because <laughs> I like sneaky peeks. This is a card that's coming up for April's monthly card making class. Using that same butterfly, and this card was really hard to photograph because of all of the foil in it, but it's a fun easel fold. And so it goes like that, and it's a pretty wedding card or a Mother's Day card. And so that is April monthly card class. So you guys haven't seen that yet, I don't think. But that's floating and fluttering. <clears throat> so what I did for those butterflies, so for those of you at home that have this, I took a sponge dauber and I dipped it in my Memento ink and I got black and I always go off to the edge of the paper because the first time you use the sponge, it makes it look like that. And I don't like that look so much. <laughs> so then what I did is I went lightly over the veins <clears throat> and I'm just trying to get it so that there's a little definition to the veins. And yes, I'm doing the pink one that's on the bottom, even though you're not gonna see much of it. Um, but do you see that I go off of the edge here onto the white paper Okay, and then I'm gonna do the yellow one. Yes, Melanie, exactly. That is such a good reason to use that chamois because I'll tell you, the, my wipes, they're perfect. They are awesome when they're wet, but then as soon as they start to dry out and you go to try to clean a stamp, it will leave those white fibers all over the stamp. And then you go to use that stamp and ink and they just go right into your ink pad. So. This, I'm just trying to put a little bit of definition on the butterfly, and I got a little dark there, but you know, when you get the whole thing put together, you're not gonna notice. If you don't have a sponge dauber, you could use a sponge as well. I like the dauber because it's a little bit more controlled. Hi, D. So D, now that you're watching, I'm not sure if you just joined, but <clears throat> we are playing lucky numbers tonight, D, and you are one of the only ones I didn't get five lucky numbers from. So if you respond in the comments, the five numbers between one and 25, I'll add you to my list and we're gonna do another round of lucky numbers later. Okay, so we've got our butterflies prepared. A little bit for assembly. Oh, die cutting, not die cutting, fussy cutting. <laughs> so I had a strip of this from my scraps and I cut out some ahead of time. I'm not quite sure where I'm at, if I want more or not, but I cut out a bunch of these and I even used this from the edge of the paper here. So you can see that's completely flat. That was one of these edges over here. I don't wanna waste that. So I will show you how I use that. All right, D, good job. Hang on here, guys. I'm just gonna write D's numbers here. Five, seven, nine, 11, and 13. Okay, cool beans. Thank you, D. Then let's see here. So I even, you guys, I grabbed this little guy, this little, little humdinger here. I thought, well, we'll see if we can use him in there. This was another one where I have the edge of the paper and I wanna show you that you can still use that edge of the paper because he will tuck, you can tuck that behind something. You'll never know so that instead of throwing that away, you can use it. All right, then here's that one. So I don't know if that's enough, but that's what I thought. The other thing, you guys, in here, somebody, Jill last night, she used this paper this one right here to make her flowers. This guy, right? That one. She cut some of those roses and she cut some of this, these pink berries. And that looks so cool. So just know you don't have to use, if you're not a Daisy fan, you could use any of those other flowers. Okay, and I wanna show you a bow again because you guys like to see the bow maker, I think, in action. So this is some of the gingham ribbon. It's from the annual catalog, which is gonna be retiring in early May. And so that's not quite enough. Not quite, not quite. So, oh no, <laughs> we're gonna have to make it work, I think. So I don't think this is enough either. So what I made for all you guys is I made triple bows but I don't have enough ribbon here to make a triple bow for the frame that I'm gonna do right now. So, but 
your bow should look more like that. There should be three bunny ears on each side. And so I'm going to make this one a double bow because that's about <laughs> how much. I went through a lot of this ribbon. I made all you guys um, triple bows, and I think I made 41 of these kits. So that was awesome. So this one's going to be a double bow. <clears throat> It'll still look really pretty with a double bow. Okay, so that was that. Hi, Pam. All right. So we've got our bow. We've got our butterflies. I even brought in, I have the diamonds and the black dots. So we're ready to assemble, guys. So easy things here. The first thing that you're going to do is glue. So this is going this way, and then your square is going this way. You could also make your black this way. <clears throat> it's really up to you. These are yours. However, I think I'm going to do that because I don't want to see my pattern going diagonal. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make my black go diagonal. So this is going to look a little different. And then we're going to see what it looks like. So that's there. My table is going to go here. Ooh, I don't know. So let's see. That's going to go something like this. Let's see what our butterflies end up doing. Hmm. Now let's try it the other way, guys. So this is, you guys, I'll tell you, honestly, in class last night, this was the hardest decision for people is what paper to use and how to lay it on the frame, like, or on the white paper. So I may go back to that because I do like that going there and then the butterflies kind of going up on the corner like that. And then you can lay out your flowers and then I'm going to show you how I put this together. Uh, like the dimensionals and what I used for liquid glue, like that guy can tuck in the corner. That's going to be there. Our bow here. Then we've got some over here. We got, see, this is the perfect one. You see how that's flat there? That is actually going to go really nice. Like it's going to be tucking out of the bow there. And then maybe we want to use this. I think I'm going to do it like this. Okay. So I've got it laid out and now you guys can see what we're going to do for gluing and dimensionals because that's always hard to see in the picture. So, <laughs> so Chris Dudarenki was here last night and <laughs> we joked about this, that these are both the same side, but you, oh, I could have very easily glued this side, but you still pick it up and <laughs> you glue the other side, even though they're identical. <laughs> oh, I didn't replace my liquid glue yet. So we'll see how much we get out of this one. All right. Hi, Bonnie. All right, so that goes down here, and if you're a person who likes to measure things, grab your ruler, and you can definitely measure it on all four sides just to make sure it's even. But I'm an eyeballer, so we're gonna eyeball this. And that gets glued down first. Okay, then, oh, that's still so pretty. I, mm, I'm going to go with the red. <laughs> that was a tough decision, guys. Hopefully that's the hardest thing I have to decide tonight. All right. So this one also gets glued flat. And this one, though, the way that it's set up is because it's six by six and your mat is eight and a half by eight and a half, your peaks, your, your corners should all meet right on this line. You see that? <clears throat> they basically all, and I'm not measuring this, but I, all I'm doing is making sure that all of my peaks reach the edge. If they don't, you have it twisted a little bit too much, and then you just turn it one way or the other, and it'll, it'll work out good for you. Okay, so now I guess if I, nope, oh, I'm good. That's how it's going to be. <laughs> all right, so now the tabletop. So let's bring this back in here, you guys, so you can see here. So I've got the three layers. I'm going to do, oh, the vellum is next. And so you're wondering about vellum because vellum, you can definitely see through it um, if you put glue or adhesive behind it. And I don't want to see any glue or adhesive, but I know that this is going to go right about here. So I'm only going to put glue behind the vellum where my mat, that white mat's going to be. I'm not going to put glue on my corners at all. And then what I'm doing is just centering this on the diagonal right here. The vellum is four by four. So we have eight and a half by eight and a half, six by six, six by six, and four by four for the vellum. And I'm just eyeballing 
this distance right here and making it as centered in there as possible. Then we have our, you guys, I'm calling this the table and our layer here is gonna sit on the table. And what I have is this corner and this corner kind of meet and over. So if I go up that, that's too high. So I have it kind of just nesting where you hit the bottom corners hit the black. <clears throat> and this is popped up with dimensionals. So I have some black dimensionals actually here that I'm gonna use. And so I'm gonna put maybe five of them along this, right there. And that gets popped up right about, I'm not gonna press it down quite yet. I'm gonna just set it on here very lightly so I could still pick it up if I want to. And something like that, because then this is gonna go right about here. And I'm looking for the equal distance between here and here. Now, you guys, again, this is your frame. If you picture something else in your head, you're more than welcome to change it however you wanna see it. I'm just giving you ideas of how I did it. And let's define, I'm gonna use some big dimensional, some white ones now. So this though, I'm gonna pop up the top half of this, but I'm gluing this bottom half or the bottom section here flat on here. If I would put dimensionals over all of this, it would be at an angle and I don't want that. So I'm only, let's see the top here. I'm going to put six dimensionals. So three along the top and three along the middle. And then I'm going to run a line of liquid glue along the bottom. So this little glue you guys, I'm getting to the end. But I've been saying that for a couple lives now. <laughs> so then this, I'm covering up maybe a quarter inch. And that glue is going to help adhere to the yellow table. You guys are probably wondering why am I calling it a table, but it's my white piece is sitting on the table here. So that glued flat, and then I got the dimensionals there. And I've got about two fingers here and about two. So I, that's how I eyeball so that's what I've got so far. Now, the butterflies. If you like the pink one on top, go for it. If you don't wanna have a double one, don't worry about it. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a little bit of glue <clears throat> just on the body right there of the pink, or you could do the back of the yellow, whichever, and you can put these together. So it's gonna adhere them. And then what I'm gonna do is kind of curl my wings. I was gonna say curl my petals, but they're wings. And gives it some depth, The this little guy. And then what I've got on the back of this, let's see, that is gonna be my dimensional. You could use a small dimensional if you want, but I think I'm gonna go with that big dimensional. And this is kind of hanging off the edge over here like that. Now you have your three diamonds in your, let me go like that. <laughs> Grab your tool to help get your diamonds off. You have three, you should have three diamonds. Hopefully they all didn't get stuck to something, <laughs> but the three diamonds go. Now this is a framed artwork too, and it's going to be in a box. So I would definitely, I've, I've found in the past that if you don't press your diamonds down really good and let that adhesive behind there. Sometimes the diamonds will fall off and be inside your shadow box and then you gotta open it back up and put them back on. So I would give those guys a good little press to make sure they stick on there and they don't come off. So you got the three diamonds there. Now that it's hanging out like that. So, cause it's a shadow box. You've got about an inch and a half of depth that you can work with. Okay. So our bow is gonna go something like that on the bottom. And I had that one flower. So this is a flower where it was the edge and I didn't wanna waste it. That's a perfect flower to actually have right there because if you see here, I've got one here and he's kind of nestled down in there. So we might even take um, one of these little dudes and put that kind of 
behind there. Oh, maybe we won't. <laughs> you guys can put as many flowers on or not as you, whatever you want. This one's got a flat edge too. So what I like about him is he fits nicely behind there. And then that one can tuck there. And then that can tuck there. And you don't even know that one was flat back there. So knowing that that's how I want that, this one I can take and pick up and he is glued flat. Look at that. He's tucked right in there. And then these two, I'm also going to glue flat. I might put a little baby dimensional, let's see here, right on this side. Oh, I had dominoes here. Everything fell over. Just on that side, because that's going to be hanging over the edge. So I'm just going to put that right there. <clears throat> this one, do you guys see I went to grab the glue and I just had the cover in my hand? <laughs> He's gonna go about like that. <clears throat> and then this one, I have the dimensional on the one side and then where it's gonna hit the white paper, we're gonna put the other. So that's what we got. So that's popped up over here because it needs an extra support and then it's flat on the white. All right, <clears throat> so that's our little cluster up there. And now we have a little cluster. Let's get, so how I put my, bow on is with the glue dots. So I'm going to put that right in the middle and then that's going to secure that. But I am not going to stop there. They call me the glue dot queen <laughs> for a reason. <clears throat> if you're not good with the glue dots and your fingers, you can take your pick tool also and pick that off with that. So I'm also, because this is a frame, I don't want to ever have this fall off on me. I'm actually going to put one underneath the one bunny ear to help provide a little more stick. And for good measure, we're gonna put one on the other side so that that has good stick. Now, if your tails are going all wonky on you and like that's going up there, you're also gonna put some more glue dots underneath the tails. Cause I always say you gotta show them who's boss and get them to go where you wanna go. So I'll put a glue dot there and then like that one looks like it'll it'll lay nice, but if your tail is going off to the other side, put a glue dot right underneath there and then it'll go exactly where you want it. So, how's that so far? <laughs> then this little guy, he's gonna tuck right in there. But what I did, and you guys are have, you probably have a really hard time seeing it, but I put a dimensional right on the top and I glued it flat on the bottom just to have depth, you guys. I like things. I'm a popper. Once you pop, you can't stop, like the Pringles commercial says. So we're going to put that up there. And we're going to put a little bit of glue at the bottom. So I, I love using dual adhesives. <laughs> so this guy is going to tuck right in there. And you got to give that glue a second. So I'm going to hold it down until it sticks. So there's that. So it's popped up at the top even more. Now this side over here, let's see what we got going on. This, and then this guy, and I'm thinking that one could go there. Whoop, stuck to my finger, hang on, see? <clears throat> We're just building a little bouquet on the side here. Oh, I like it, okay. What we're gonna do, so we're going to just move them aside <laughs> and I'm just going to put a little glue right there because I don't want to lose how I have these by picking them up because I feel like I might lose that layering. <laughs> and so that's that. Now I'm going to take one dimensional there and put that on the corner there. Okay. So far so good. You guys with me now? I did cut these little guys. I don't know if that we want to find a home for these or not. I, uh, I didn't want to waste them, but sometimes less is best. You don't always need to keep adding things to a project. Just know that guys, <laughs> sometimes simple is good. Um, you guys have five of the black matte dots in your kits. Hopefully they didn't get all disheveled everywhere. And I have, there's, I think two small ones and two and uh, three big ones. So I've got that big one over there. I had one there, 
and I put one there, and then I had a couple little guys, and one was there, and <laughs> Deani, I know, I hated fussy cutting the little daisies. I wish I had somebody to fussy cut for me. <laughs> Oh, I think that Kathy King, like, I don't Kathy, did you tell me you like to fussy? Somebody told me they like to fussy cut. I can't remember who. I'm trying to figure out. You guys, I have a hard time with where to put dots. <laughs> Rhinestones and you know, all that, the bling on. That's what I have a hard time figuring out. Like, what well, looks best? So, press those down good when you have them where you want them. <laughs> oh, we're not done. You got some ribbon tails, guys. You got to cut your ribbon tails so that they are nice and crisp so like don't leave that little frayed edge like that so you can cut your tails however you want if you like the diagonal if you like them flat everybody likes different things um so there's that and then we're not done we have to stella stella is your friend she's gonna stella up here on the butterflies and we're also gonna stella the daisies so these guys can get a little blinged up. And this one right here. The other thing too, you guys, you can stell a ribbon. It doesn't hurt to stell the ribbon. Give it a little bit of shine, a little bit of glitz. And then if you want, take your bows and pull your little tails out so that it looks fuller. Um, on mine here, you can see I've got all three of the bunny ears kind of out. That little tail went weird over there. I think I just left it because I thought it looked okay. Hmm? All right, so, voila. <laughs> yeah, there, oh, Stacy just said, and bling the gems. Yes, you can put Stella on those, definitely. I don't know if it'll stay that way. I Hopefully it will dry. But, I mean, you guys, <clears throat> if you are ever looking for presents or gifts for the people in your life, this is an awesome thing that really didn't take much time at all. And there really wasn't a lot to it. it I, um, there are samplers out there that are they're full of work and lots of die cutting. And I've done them in the past. But I tried to keep this one simple so that it would be easy for you guys at home to make something. Like where you didn't have to have a lot of stamps. And honestly, it wasn't a lot of die cutting for me to prep this for you. It was just some butterflies like that. And you guys had to do your own fussy cutting. So, yeah. So, Stacy didn't bit to die. <laughs> Stacy, I can't understand what you were writing. <laughs> so, that's it, guys. So, that's our frame. Now, I know that some of you have a hard time with the frame. I sent a link out to you. I got it at Michael's, but I got mine on Black Friday. So they had a really good deer that looked like diamonds. <laughs> okay, <laughs> your your message came through and I didn't ha I couldn't read it. It's funny. So I got my frames at a deal. So I ended up getting my frames. They ended up being eight bucks because it was a Black Friday special. So just know you don't have to go out and spend. I think they're right now they're twenty five dollars. Don't spend twenty five dollars. You can always check Hobby Lobby or wait for Michaels to have a sale. Sometimes they have a forty percent off. Danny's still fussy cutting. Danny, you've got time. Hi, Amy. Shiny gems on the butterflies. Oh, yes. So the, the diamonds, uh, the diamonds are, here, I'll show you guys. I don't know, Angela, if you're asking about the shiny gems on the butterflies. Yep, the rhinestones go on. Let's see if they sparkle. Yep, the rhinestones go on the butterflies right there. So, um, so don't go out, you guys, don't go out and spend lots of money on a frame. This wasn't meant for you to guy for you guys to go out and buy an expensive frame unless you really want to you can always wait just know that you can get your insert done um and have it set off to the side and when you find the right frame get it and oh danny got hers for ten dollars at michael's so there you go yeah mine came from michael's um but you have to get them sometimes they're two for something sometimes they're three for something and just wait till they have different sizes too just make sure you get a nine by nine uh so the other thing though that if you look at the frame here, um, this, what I did to, I don't know, let's see if I, these, these are a pain in the butt to get these little tabbies. You don't hurt yourself. It really helps too if you have a screwdriver or some sort of a metal tool to help you get them started like that. This, what I did, so you can see that this is a fabric back here. 
all I did was I took my tear and tape and I put tear and tape around the edges like this and then I put a diagonal through the middle. The frames are 70% off, Kay just said. Awesome. Sandy, you can catch the replay too. Oh, Jean, you got yours $11. Okay, so you guys are getting some good deals. Awesome. So what you do though is you're gonna flip. I'm gonna put this, let's see here. I'm gonna put this back in here. So what I did to assemble this is I took my tear and tape and I put the tear and tape along the back and I put an, a slash through the middle. You peel off the tear and tape and then what you can do is just adhere it to the fabric-y cloth background. And you think right now there's a big margin all the way around this, but when you get that in here, oh, let's get him all straightened out. Okay, when you get that in here and you shut this, oh, a butter knife works perfect. A bone folder works perfect too. When you put that in there, you really can't see the, the edge. I mean, maybe a little bit over on that side, but you otherwise you can't see it. it the, the matting ends up working out really nicely. So. So there you have it. Just the layout though for this, the, the paper, the DSP is six by six. If you guys ever sell at craft fairs, this would be a cool thing to make for a craft fair. If you um, do projects for selling, like and not just cards, but this is a really awesome, easy sampler to put together. Uh, and it's very versatile. It, it really is. And it's, it doesn't take hours and hours to put together. So um, I hope you like it. I think you guys gave me lots of hearts when I was done. I think I saw that. So um, so there's going to be another celebration coming up July and August. And I will be doing another celebration celebration in September after it ends. And I like to do these kind of make and takes for that because it's something different. I, I don't always do samplers like this. And so, oh, you guys look at all the love. I love it. <laughs> oh, you guys, look at this. You guys can probably see that. I love it. Look at all those hearts. You guys love it. So that's awesome. That makes me feel good. Um, so what, this will be something too for a celebration. It'll be a project like this. I'll find some cool DSP that hopefully they have some designer paper in the celebration for July and August and I'll get you a pack and it'll be something along this line so that you can be creative and use your own style or if you want to copy it exactly. <laughs> so you guys are awesome. Okay, so that's the sampler and what we're gonna do is we have a few more prizes that can be won. We're gonna do another game of lucky numbers. So D, I didn't see you post your numbers. If you have a chance and you're hearing this right now and you wanna give me your five lucky numbers between one and 25, I'll add you to my little um, sheet here so that I have your numbers. And then if you win, then you might win a stamp set. So, um, Danny's using the DSP that used for the easel card with the mini, can oh, perfect. Oh, cause then it'll all go together. That's awesome. That's perfect. So I hope that that frame inspired you guys to see it's, it, it might not look simple and maybe it does look simple. I don't know, but hopefully you saw how simple it is and make some more. And if you guys make some more, I want to see pictures, put it on the share it Sunday. Uh, I look at all those pictures on share it Sunday and I like every one. If I, I try to anyways. Uh, so I love seeing what you guys are creating. So, okay, let's get our numbers set here. So what I have left as a punch party stamp set. And then also I've got some berry blessings. And if you were listed earlier uh, for being a participant for tonight, make sure you're putting your S-T-A-M-P and we'll see once who our next two winners are. So we're gonna do two winners on uh, this game right now. And then I think I'm gonna do a number, a random number generator. I numbered everybody. <laughs> and we're gonna do a random number generator to see, oh, D, yay, you're so fast here. Okay, so, oh, D, I'm sorry, I wrote you down. <laughs> Five, seven, nine, eleven, thirteen. 11, 13. See, my mind was on that picture frame. I think that <laughs> I forgot that for a moment, but I'm all set with you, Dee, now. Thank you so much for retelling me your numbers. Love it. Okay, um, Sue Fisher, if you were watching, I would take your numbers. So other than that, I think I had everybody. So, all right, let's flip or still skin the camera down. <laughs> Dee, so you guys, that's how my brain is. When I'm in the middle of stamping, I forget things. <laughs> and so I... Um, I have to write things down right away 
or I forget. So that's why it's always good to email me because then I see it in my email after class. Um, Connie Piaski, I'm not sure if you're watching, but you wrote me a really nice note after the ice cream class last week and how much you enjoyed it and that you want to get to the hive sometime. That would be awesome. So happy you enjoyed last week's class. Okay, thanks for sharing, Sue. And all right, first number. Let's grab this one right here on the top. Oh my gosh, you guys. It's my number two. So Angela, I know you have number two. <laughs> Danny's got number two. Deb, you have number two. So my favorite is number two. I don't know if I ever told you guys the story. But growing up, my brother had a cat. Its name was Petunia Bopper, and we called her Poo Two. Well, she was, the, yeah. So that's how two is such a number in my brother and my life. <laughs> it's so crazy. Uh, number 18. Oh, Mary's got the number two as well. Oh, yeah, there you do. <laughs> All right, number 18, quite curvy stamp set. So, you guys, that came out before the catalog actually launched. And, oh, we're using it. It's actually being used in this card right here. That that curvy, well, the dies are being used, and that stamp is being used. Part of the cur quite curvy. Love it. Look at all those S's. Holy Moses. Look at you guys. You see all that? I love it. S's are good. So 18, the next one. Oh, Kathy King, ST. Very nice. Okay, number six. Oh, what is this? Number nine, actually. Sorry, guys. That's number nine, the Brushed Bloom stamp set. Oh, man, we used that on the catalog launch party card, making the card that's very similar to this frame. So that's number nine. Brenda's got an ST. All right, let's see what we got this one. All right, number 14, Forever and Always. Danny wants the curvy set. You would love it. I think I like the curvy. So many pretty cards with it. Number 14. All right, Forever and Always stamp set. Kathy King, STA. What do you have here? 2918. Wowzers, girl. I love it. Danny's got ST. Okay, guys, here we go. <laughs> number one. I know um, I saw some Brenda's got number one. Okay, number one. Hey, girlfriend, stamp set with the little puppers in there. Number one, Marge has S. Nice. Angela ST, Tammy S. All right, this one right here is going to be next. Number 17, you are amazing. Number 17, you are amazing. Luann's got S. Jean's got S. You guys are getting some numbers here. Ellen Brover's got S. Nice. Okay, here we go. We got our number 11 again. Dragonfly Garden stamp set. Can't wait to make some of those cards with you guys. April 8th. Check it out. Game night. You guys, my, my main thing is that I have my calendar of events on my website, and that is always the tried and true source for all my classes, and I post pictures as soon as I have the cards designed. Stacy and Jean both have ST. Who has number 23? Number 23 is the next number. Number 23, hey, birthday chick. Um, Luann's having a private Facebook party with me. On the 16th of March, we're going to be making a card that is using that crazy funky chicken. So Christy S. Latoki has got S. Marge ST. Wonderful. Okay, number 22, Simply Succulents. That's the next number. Ann Miller's got S. Sherry Martin, S. All right, good. You've got lots of S's here. All right, number 25. Oh, snap. The little alligator is eating a fish. Number 25. How many of you guys have that? I'm really curious. <laughs> I don't think I've made any cards with that one yet. <laughs> All right, oh, snap. Uh, Deb's got ST. Luann, ST. Mary, ST. Woohoo! Melanie ST. Next number, we've got number 23. Oh, Danny's got STA. Very nice. Next number, oh, Melanie's got ST. Angela ST. Okay, cool. Next number is three. Number three. Friends are like seashells. Number three. I need to use that one more often. Oh my gosh, you guys, so many STAs. Look at that. Let's go for this guy here. Luann's got STA too. All right, here we go. Number 24, In Bloom 
stamp set. We used that one on that daisy card from the fun folds. So that one was a cool one in bloom. All right, that was number 24. Oh, Bobby, you didn't get skunked. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Kay's got ST, Ellen, ST, Tammy. We got a bunch of STs here. Oh, Stacy Burns, STAM. Number 19, my little baby. The kangaroo, he's a Dorbsy. <laughs> I love that one. So I love the kangaroo and the sweet strawberry, guys. <laughs> if, you, if you haven't figured that out yet. <laughs> All right, let's see here. You guys are still on number 24. Let's see here if anybody gets it on number 19. I know Deb's got 19. I know just a couple of you guys. There weren't a lot of people who picked 19. And after 19... We have number, lucky number 13, Hydrangea Haven. Oh, the Tokyo's got S-T-A-M. Nice. Okay. And Sherry's got S-T-A-M. Wow, look at these numbers. You guys have a lot of these. Let's see here on number 13 if anybody's got stamp. S-T-A-M is the closest we have so far. Oh, my gosh. There's one, two, three people. Marge, S-T-A. Marge, we're past your curfew, though. We're at... <laughs> You almost have to get going, I think. So we're almost done with this one. I'm sure somebody's going to win this really soon. Okay, Kay's got STA. So we just did 13. Next one. Let's see here. I'm going to flip it over. I'm just waiting to see if anybody gets this on number 13. After number 13 is number 16. Wow, Brenda's got STAM as well. So we have number 16, Pretty Perennials. Very pretty set that we used on the fun folds as well. Um, it was that navy card with the bloom paper. So number 16, Pretty Perennials. All right. You guys are going to see that in just a second. And let's see if anybody gets it on that. I know Danny has number 16, but I don't know. Danny's got two, nine. Oh, Danny needs a 15, though. Danny's got S-T-A-M. Okay. Oh, Brenda. Nice. Brenda's got S-T-A-M-P. So, guys, hang tight. I'm going to check Brenda's, see if anybody else has it, because if nobody else has it, we're going to play until somebody else has it. So, Brenda has 1, 13, 16, 18, and 25. Brenda, that's a good, I was going to say, good bingo, good bingo. So, Brenda... What you can do is let me know if you want berry blessings or punch party. But we're going to go for one more winner here and see who takes second place. All right, we've got Sweet Strawberry, number eight. Number eight is the next number. We're going to do a second place winner, Angela. But you can't win twice. That's the only rules I have, guys. So if you've already won, we got to let somebody else win. <laughs> so Angela, I was going to say two 8, 12. Oh, nope, we don't have your number 12 because I was going to say, we got to let somebody else win. So let's keep going here. That next number was 8. See if anybody else wins with the number 8. Melanie's got STAM. We have like six people with STAM. It's crazy. So whoever says stamp next and is a good number, they will win a, a stamp set as well. So after number eight, let's see if anybody's got the eight. And I don't think a lot of people picked number eight, guys. That was probably one number that wasn't picked at all. <laughs> so we're going to go with number 12. Number 12. I know, Angela, you might have it, but we're going to keep going because you've won a stamp set already. So I know you have two, eight, 12, 14, 25, and those are all picked. So, Angela, congratulations. You won twice. That means you need to go get yourself a lottery ticket. Oh, Stacy Burns, you got stamp. Let's check your numbers real quick. Stacy Burns, you, you were number one here. So, number, yep, you got it, Angela. So, Stacy was 3, 9, 12, 17, 24. Yay, congratulations. Oh, Ellen, you got stamp too. Let's check Ellen real quick here. 
Let's check Ellen. Where are you, Ellen? Let's find your numbers. You were, I'll check your number. Oh, I had them earlier. Here, one, three. Oh, Ellen, you're number four. I think you're trying to tell me no. Okay, so Ellen, <laughs> I think you were trying to tell me no that you don't have it. So, nope, okay, because you needed a, tw a four and then there's 12 and 16. So you need a number four yet. Okay, so got it. I'm good, Ellen, I got what you're saying. So, all right. So I think that we said Stacy won and who else here? Let me, I gotta scroll back here. Stacy and, oh wait, do we have? Yes, Brenda. Okay, cool. So Brenda and Stacy. Um, you guys, I think Brenda, you won first. Did you tell me what you would like, Brenda? I'm not quite sure if you told me. I'm scrolling through here. Hmm, I may have missed it. But Brenda, you gotta let me know if you want punch party or if you want berry blessings. And Stacy, if you want one or the other two, I have some extra ones too. So if you guys both pick the same ones, it's okay. We're good. So all right, so we've got Stacy and Brenda. Hi, Chris Studerenke. Okay, so congratulations to those lucky ladies. Yay. So I'm gonna save these numbers because they're gonna be the numbers I used for game night. So, so for those of you that haven't done a game night with me before, now you know how I do the game night. And what I do, oh, Stacy wants punch party. Perfect, okay, and Brenda, I don't know if I saw yours yet, but if you want punch party or berry blessings, whichever. Uh, so how I do the game night though is I have big prizes that are from the annual catalog like bundles and basically like the sweet strawberry bundle or the ice cream bundle or it'll be like the prizes are around $30 to $35. It all depends on how many people sign up because I take a portion of everybody's registration to put into the prizes. And um, so if somebody wins first and then somebody else wins right after on the same number, I have runner up prizes then. And what we do is we play a game, make a card and it's game card, game cards so that we do five games and we make four cards. So, and it's those dragonfly cards. So what next? Okay. I was going to do one more person to win a prize. And what I was going to do for that though, is we're going to do random number generator. So I'm going to flip my phone down or my camera down so you guys can see this. And I like to do the random number generator. And I do that by going onto the internet and we just do random number generator. And we had 29 people that were part of tonight's event. And we're gonna put 29 and we're gonna hit generate. Now, again, if Brenda or Stacy or Angela or Tammy win, we're gonna pick somebody else and let the love be shared. Number 14. Ellen, you were meant to win. Ellen, you're number 14. I know that's really hard to see, but my chicken scratch says you're number 14. Okay, so Ellen, <laughs> you thought you had lucky numbers and it's because you were feeling the wavelengths that you were gonna win tonight. So I have a stamp set for you too. Now, I don't know if you have berry blessings, but if you have berry blessings, um, just let me know and we'll figure something out. I don't need you to have a duplicate set if you already have it. And I don't remember what everybody buys all the time. <laughs> oh, Brenda wants berries, I love it. Okay, perfect, so I got berries for Brenda. And so what I'll do with the prizes, guys, is um, if we have you signed up for an upcoming class that uh, I need to mail some kits to you, I'll probably just throw the stamp set in with your next card kits. And if you're not signed up for a class in the near future, then what I'll do is I'll send them in the mail for you. So, all right, you have, so Ellen, you have Berry Blessing. Would you like a punch party? If you don't have the punch party, I do, I can swap out the Berry Blessings for a punch party. And then you don't have a duplicate set. So that would be awesome if you don't have it. So I also have from last week, Thursday, guys, we put the ice cream cards together. And so let's flip or still skin the camera. So I have these four cards. So after... Oh, yeah, let's see here. I'm wondering if one lucky winner will win this prize next week. So I generally, whatever I do for my make and take for the class is what I give away. So um, <laughs> last week we made these four cards. And so I have some draw, some winners who are drawn for these. And so we'll do the drum roll. Oh, perfect, Ellen. I will definitely do 
the punch party for you. So let me make my slip with punch party. Otherwise, like I said, my brain's in this mode. <laughs> all right, we're gonna do, all right, so for this one, this was the fun fold. It was a Z fold that we made last week. So it opens really cool. All right, da -da -da -da. Linda Hodge, your name was drawn for this card and I was so excited that you got it. It's one of my favorites with these ice cream cones and the pastel pearls. And you guys know I love purple. So Linda, you were it for this one. And drum roll, brrr, winner, winner, chicken dinner of the Calypso Coral ice cream card is Kara uh, or Kara Wilmoth. So I'm not sure if I'm saying things right, but Kara or Kara Wilmoth, it's W-I-L-M-O-T-H. Your name was the lucky name drawn for this card right here. Brrr, next winner, winner. Oh, the shaker card. Did you, <laughs> was that fun? Oh my gosh. We need to do more shaker cards because they're not really complicated. <laughs> winner is Deanne Estelle. Yay, girlfriend. Your name was drawn for this card. So I have Deanne and Linda's information, but I don't have Kara. All right, winner, winner doo, 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 of the last one is K. Okay, we're or were. -er. <laughs> so it's W I R R E R. So I know you're watching, K. Oh, Kara, you're watching. Wonderful. So Kara and K, both of you girls, I don't have your addresses. So if you could private message me, send me an email, a text me. If you give me your addresses, I will pop your cards in the mail ASAP. I'm not promising tomorrow. <laughs> I'll try to, but if it ends up being Saturday or Monday, that's sometimes what happens. Um, and sometimes it's even a little bit after that. So I try. <laughs> so yay, Kay, you're watching too. Awesome. So I will put these four cards in the mail as soon as I can for you guys. And... Wow, we did really good. I know, Marge, you had to leave because uh, you had another event planned for tonight, but I know a lot of you guys stuck around and got to see who won some cards, and I really appreciate that. Hi, Mary Schneider. So, yes, K, it's yay for the other K. You guys, it's so funny because you both your last names start with W, are six letters, and they look very similar from where my eyes are on my phone. So I have to look at you guys very carefully. So yes, congratulations to all the winners. Um, so just to recap, where are we at? So we did our insert. We played some games. Uh, we talked about Craft or Us. So if you guys are looking for some more fun tomorrow night, join us live hop on between 6.20 and 6.30 to do craft roulette. It's too late to submit any cards from last week because they've already closed that as of Sunday, but you can still make a card with me tomorrow night if you want to. <laughs> so, uh, so join me for craft roulette. If you're on my team for the Be Happy Stampers, I'm doing a team training on Saturday. It's at uh, I don't remember, 1 o'clock or 1.30. I can't remember. It's somewhere around there. But if you go to the Be Happy Stampers team page, you will find the time. And what I'm going to do for all you girls, I had 17 people join the Be Happy Stampers, either on my team or one of my team's team. And you're new and you might not know all the ins and outs on, on how to take advantage of all the opportunities that Stampin' Up! has for placing orders and combining workshops, all that good stuff. I want to teach you a little bit about that so that you're not in the dark and trying to figure it out by yourself. So that's Saturday for my team. And then Sunday, you guys, we have a class. It's our first Sunday class. And what are we doing? We're doing kits. So on Sunday, I have Leslie, Mo, Melanie, Bobby, Danny, and Linda. You girls, six of you signed up to do the kit class. And so what I'm gonna do is I have all the kits documented uh, we're going to be doing Looking Up for Leslie, Dear Friend for Mo, and then Citrus for Danny, and the posies are for Linda and Melanie. And now you're wondering, like, wow, how are we going to do all these kits? We're going to make it happen. So what I'm going to do is, and then it's a paper pumpkin party, so all of you girls got some extra card kits in the mail for me, and I'm going to show you how to put those cards together. But how we're going to do the kits is I'm going to, explain what's easiest for when you get a kit uh, to take your pieces out, make your piles. I'm going to kind of help mentally prepare everybody to get started. And then I'm going to start with one of the kits and I'm going to make one each of the kit so that 
if you're not making that specific kit, you are going to get to see it. And maybe you are intrigued by it because you didn't get to see it in real life, kind of. But the video, it really helps to show you the pictures. Hi, Naughty Nancy. Um, Sandy, I'm planning to be in Wisconsin in July. I'm hoping to hop on over to see you. Oh, that would be awesome, Sandy. Okay, so what time on Sunday? Do you guys remember? <laughs> oh, I gotta look at the sheet. I don't know if I remember. I, I thought four o'clock. Did I say two? I might have said two, and I think I meant four. 4 p.m. I thought my brother was coming into town this weekend, and he is, but he's leaving Saturday at 9 a.m., so just tomorrow night. And so I made it a little bit later on Sunday afternoon. So it's at 4 p.m. Central on, on Sunday. And we're going to do four different kits. I'm going to show you one each of all the, the cards that are in the kits. And everybody's welcome to join in for the class. And I just had a couple extra perks for those people who, um, who bought the kit for, for the class from me. So I'll have some prizes that we're gonna give away on Sunday for those between those six people. So, hi Julie, hi Kathy. Okay, so Luann, it's Sunday at four, and then I don't think that I'll be live again until Thursday, but sometime I'm gonna pop on and do just a sneak peek of some butter, the butterfly cards, like showcasing some upcoming classes. So yeah, Danny, your first team meeting, and it's gonna be training, so it's gonna be good. So if you guys are on my team and you can't make the training on Saturday, just know that it will be live streamed to Facebook and you can catch the Facebook replay anytime. So woohoo, Kathy's gonna to join too. Okay, I don't know, it's quarter to eight. <laughs> we finished a little bit earlier than we've been finishing, so ah, oh, it's good. <laughs> I gotta go check on Tyler, make sure he's okay. He got a bum foot this last couple of weeks, and so I've been playing nurse for two weeks about, or a week and a half, and it, it's, been, it's been a lot <laughs> uh, um, taking care of somebody that needs help because they're on crutches, and so he's doing good now. He's on the mend, but I'll tell you guys, if, if you reached out to me and it's taken me a little bit to get back to you, I apologize. It's hard. Uh, it's like an extra... Uh, a little bit of a workload <laughs> taking care of somebody. And I love doing it because I love helping him. Uh, but just know if I didn't respond to something, maybe reach out to me again and send me a little note saying, hey, don't forget about me. <laughs> so, oh, Mary Gunn is 620 Central will be live. There's going to be some talking, interaction, back and forth, welcoming people. And then her show starts at 630. And it it starts with talking to me and getting people to know who I am. And then we go through the cards and do draw like, yeah. So there's a whole program and it's going to last until about eight ten or eight o'clock. So, oh yeah. Oh, you're welcome. Okay. I'm so happy to help you guys be creative and crafty and I love supporting all of you. So you guys make my day special and never, you know, sometimes people say, oh, I don't want to bother you. I don't want to, you know, be a pest, but you guys are never ever bothers or ever pest to me. You guys, I love helping everybody and I just want to make everybody happy. And when you guys are happy, it makes me happy and life is good. <laughs> so and I love being crafty and creative. And so I love sharing that passion with you guys. And, and when you show me that you're working on stuff and making projects and, and stamping or crafting, it's awesome. That That's awesome. So it's therapy for all of us. And we all need that in our lives is some happy, fun stamping time. So yeah, Victoria, thank you for being with me tonight. I'm glad you guys enjoyed the evening. Uh, if you um, love watching, just come back on Thursdays. And if you guys ever miss a Thursday night, just know the replays are always available in the replay section. If you need to place an order for Stampin' Up! product, I truly appreciate all your support and business. And if your order is over $35 or $40, then it, it will qualify for either the monthly class or a bundle class. So just know your orders get you card kits. And I just need to know what upcoming class you want in either this month or next month and I add you to the list and then you get happy mail from me. Woohoo. Um, Deb, what time is the team meeting Saturday? I, uh, I can't remember off the top of my head. I have celebration celebration in the morning at 10 and it should be done about 1230 or one. And if you go to the be happy stampers team page, I created an event for it in the event section in the team page and it's on there. And I, I, maybe somebody, Danny or um, Kathy King, 
whatever time it is, either 1 central or 1.30 central or 2 central. I honestly can't think of it right now. So, <laughs> Kara, yay, I got your email or your message with your address. So, okay, so the next time we go live too with... um with me showcasing the upcoming classes for the monthly and for the butterflies, because I'm gonna do just an individual showcase, I'm gonna take you guys off of the stand and I'm gonna take you over to the corner of the hive because my Amish guy, he's not mine, I always say that he's mine, but he's not mine. He came yesterday while I was at work and he installed my stamp cases, which are like a bookcase, but it's for stamp cases. And Last night after class, I brought all my stamps down from my craft room or my where I stamp and they're all on display up there. So I want to show you guys what it's all about so that you can see like my excitement. So, all right. Yes, Tammy loves getting happy mail. Everybody loves getting happy mail, right? Who wants bills? <laughs> I think most of us probably have our bills set up for automatic so that we don't get bills in the mail. I mean, I still get my water bill in the mail, but there's still some things that... It's nice getting happy mail. So, all right, that was enough jibber jabber, guys. <laughs> so, you guys have a good rest of your night, and we'll see you live tomorrow for Craft Roulette. Please join me. I'm begging you now because I want to show Mary Gunn that we're going to have a lot of fun and have 150 people live at one time and break their records because I know we can do it. So, Danny, Saturday's the 13th, I think, right? Yes, the 13th. So I don't know if you're on the team. I don't want to hop off, but on the team page, we can find what time the training starts. So, um, all right, guys, lots of sunshine and love and hugs to you. We'll see you tomorrow night. And if not tomorrow night, we'll see you the next time. Love you. Bye.